three letters for you. CBD. In the past year, we've seen an explosion in CBD products. They're everywhere, and now they're in convenience store robots. So this is true. Boulder and Denver, Colorado, the first cities to receive CBD robots. These are high-tech vending machines that allow customers to purchase these CBD products with an artificial intelligence touchscreen. There are plans, I guess, to expand across the state. Wow. And just so everyone remembers at home, CBD is going to give you that relaxing feeling. This is not THC. This isn't going to make you high. So this is just the C. This is the just the CBD. Cannabidiol is very different than THC. So yeah. a natural anti-inflammatory. So the biggest the biggest thing I would say though is, I I believe so much in the potential of CBD. Yet having said that, I think the the craze around it. The science hasn't caught up in the sense that you can go buy a CBD product and you right now probably have no idea if what it says is in it is actually in it. And so now you start having vending machines everywhere. And the truth is the craze is ahead of, of, of the science mm -hmm. mainly because it's everywhere. And now people are just, I, I'm a little bit wary because there are so many products. I go into CBD stores whenever I see them and I'm just walking around and I'm looking You're a at CBD all fan. the- I'm a, I am a, a, a fan, certainly, of the potential, but I'm, I'm concerned by the craze where people are just going in, they're buying For gummies, mm -hmm. vaporizers, uh, bath bombs, this, and you don't even know if what you're buying is what you're getting. The label may not accurately describe right. what's in the product. So back to the first topic, which is there are a lot of, it comes down more almost a marketing scam, which is, you could go buy a CBD product and it may have no CBD in it. Or it may have a little THC in it. it. You don't, yeah, you're not okay. sure because the, the again, the, the, the regulatory environment hasn't caught up. So that's where I think it's, you know, you start rolling in and there's vending machines everywhere. You how do you, think, how do you mean, know if Colorado, the product you're getting is what it claims? You would think that state is controlling things to a certain degree. And I would actually agree with you there. Colorado has been done a good job of if if you're selling a product at a you know at a store and it says 10 milligrams of THC or then those products are regulated you know what you're getting and the getting's good right. <laughs> road trip like the I don't know road trip is. you know there's always a question too in, in younger people we don't we don't know the long term effects of CBD use I mean I, most likely. It's an exciting time, I think, in terms of we are going to have more and more clinical studies with regards to both THC, CBD, the combination, because there's been some evidence of a synergistic effect. And, and I think that right now we're just at a place of, okay, so if you're taking this for, for what purpose, how well absorbed is it? Because you can take it, and if you don't absorb any of it, it's a waste of money. And, and what, like, what are the doses? We're, we're going to figure that out. We're but, not there yet. But for now, I would say if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, I would stay away from the CBD oil. Posture. 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 Posture, everyone. Posture. And we're not pregnant. <laughs>